Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and this is Seed Sunday, the weekly series I run on my channel where I show some of the best seeds for Minecraft on the console, which are pretty interesting and which I think you should check out for some reason or another. And this week's seed is one you definitely should check out because, as well as having a mushroom biome with a giant lava pit in the center, it genuinely has a floating chest just in the middle of a savanna biome, which is just so fascinating to check out. You might see it in the thumbnail and be like, no, Toycat, that's fake. No, there is a floating chest on this seed, and again, I think you're gonna wanna check it out. Hopefully, you all do enjoy the video, showcasing the entire seed. Like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like Seed Sunday but with that said the seed is going to be on screen right now that's right the big number you're seeing on screen right now if you type that in you'll spawn just over here in this here forest uh, you know kind of near this lake kind of near all these trees everywhere uh, this big one in particular and uh, yeah the first thing you're going to want to do when you do spawn in is I guess it depends on where you want to go because there is a mushroom biome just to the west but I think you're going to personally want to go to the north because the most interesting and unique thing about the seed is the fact that it has a mesa biome which is again kind of rare on the console you know to find one that's uh, any you know size at all um but what, what's even better about this mesa biome is the fact that it ta it's actually you know located very close to already a very good part of the world because you can see there is a, a you know again there's a, a, a savannah village found just over here the savannah village contains a blacksmith chest which is always appreciated then the blacksmith chest contains free armor free bread free uh, apple and some free gold and stuff like that it's a very it's a very useful thing so as well as having one free chest here there is another you know set of four free chests in this desert temple found just over here and then just in case you haven't got your village fixed there is then a third village found just to the north over here. It's a bigger village. It doesn't contain a blacksmith chest, but it is, uh, again, it's like really close to these other two things. And it's just nice to find free generated structures so close together. But even cooler than free generated structures is four because then there is a mesa biome. And one fact about the mesa biome that you might not be familiar with is the fact that it can spawn with above ground mine shaft. So in case you're curious as to how the whole thing uh, from before, uh, the thing I mentioned at the start happened, uh, that is because, uh, you know, the mine shaft is kind of glitched outside of the mesa biome where it should be and into the savannah biome apparently and it only glitched into one very specific thing which is this minecart in a chest which again you can see is genuinely floating in midair and in case you're curious as to how it's floating there is rails somehow placed on the grass again you can't place rails on grass but the world generator did it because it had a little bit of a glitch and it means that you can if you type in the seed at least on xbox one that's why i'm playing them you're going to end up with a minecart chest floating above some grass i mean i guess it's technically sitting on the grass but it's still this very very strange thing to see and if you really want to by the way you can actually like move it a little bit and move it off the grass but that's not quite as fun as leaving it on there. So yeah, in case you're curious what's in here, for me at least, there is Frostwalker, which is pretty amazing, like to have Frostwalker combined all that stuff. You got a bunch of lapis for enchanting, some torches, and just in general, like what the heck, free random floating chest that is on top of some grass that contains one of the best rare, you know, you can't enchant this yourself enchantments in the game. That's amazing, right? It is amazing. And yeah, that's uh, one of the, the first bits of the seed. And by the way, as an example, I didn't realize you could do this. You can actually shove the uh, minecart with a chest just below the rail if you really want to. So I guess you you could like stack chests on top of each other that way. I'm, I'm just saying, cool little thing that you can do because of the weird glitch that just happened here. So as well as an uh, interesting glitch that you can find right there, you can see there is also this, you know, kind of spawn below a tree. Very interesting, bizarre, wacky stuff. And there is also the, uh, again, the above ground uh, Mesa mine shaft. So these things can generate in Mesa biomes above the ground. They're really rare and I haven't seen one in so many seats. So I'm glad to come across this one. And uh, this one, it, again, it doesn't have so many chests besides that one floating one, but it does have a lot of gold. This one stretch of, uh, you know, the hallway right here, you know, this one that you can see at these corners. If you head down here, you can get so much gold so quickly because there's one vein of gold below my feet, as you can see. Uh, if you head a little bit further down, there's another vein of gold. There's another vein of gold on the right there. There's another one on the right there. Then on the left, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there is also another one uh, just near the end. But yeah, there's, there's at least four veins of gold right next to each other there. Apparently, there's not one. I must have imagined it. Or maybe it was a different section. There's lots of, uh, you know, parts of above ground mineshaft here, and you can use them to your advantage to get lots and lots of free gold. And also, there's a tiny bit that's found over here that's not quite so useful uh, because again the mine shafts don't necessarily insect in the same way you would expect but yeah mine shaft if you want to go explore it here it is lots of free ores lots of free exploration and here is even the second chest which again contains the name tag i think this loot might be randomized uh, all the chests are kind of different with how they do their stuff but that's a thing you can find over here maybe that's the last bit of gold i was missing i'm not sure but with that said let's move out of here and show you the rest of the seed because this is fascinating like oh yeah so we got a desert temple we got floating chests we got some above ground mason uh, biome and also two villages. But what else is going on here? Because, you know, this this isn't all enough for me. Well, as well as the fact that, you know, this desert is obscenely flat. Like, or, or it's, it's quite, I, I shouldn't say obscenely flat. It's, it's very flat and, like, it's actually pretty great for building because of how, again, it doesn't take much effort to really 100% flatten. Uh, we've also got the fact that, uh, you know, somewhere between the, uh, you know, spawn and these villages. So you could go there on the way if you were kind of bored and you wanted to see it. Uh, we've got this cave over here. So this cave is so notable. So at minus nine and uh, minus 44. Uh, this cave right here is so notable because 
because if you go inside it, you can see how there is this, uh, again, this uh, ravine, which then has the stronghold in it. There is a, a, a immediate access to the uh, thing in the stronghold, and that's pretty cool because that's access to some free chests. Um, in this case, it's just uh, some weak level enchantments, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, power four and punch two. They're nice enchantments, and that would make a great bow, but it's, you know, it's, it's not Frostwalker one, is it? It's not Frostwalker one. So, yeah, you can then explore the rest of this thing. You can find all the chests if you want to, and it's just pretty cool to me that you can explore the stronghold without breaking a single block because there is immediate access to it without, again, you don't have to, you could blue this in adventure mode if you wanted to, and I just think that's a really cool part of the seed. You can find these coordinates just over here. So, that's not all that this seed has. It doesn't just have all these previous things, uh, because I mentioned at the start it had a, a mushroom biome with fire in it, right? Well, yep, let me go back to that and show you that right now, because this is something I don't think I've ever seen. I don't recall seeing it at least. Maybe I have, like, once or twice and I've just been gone, but as far as I can tell, I've never seen a mushroom biome spawn with a giant hole of lava in there, and I'm not sure if they're meant to spawn that way, or if that is just, like, you know, some small glitch, or, like, technically this isn't biome, but as you can see, there is a giant, you know, mushroom biome. It's pretty flat. Again, you could build here if you really wanted to, if that was your thing, and you can also find yourself, uh, yeah, again, some lava here, which will help you go to the nether pretty easily. So, yeah, lava, mushrooms, and an island. What more, a flat island. What more do you need in your life? Also, uh, as, as it relates to Q&A Saturday from yesterday, you can, if you find any mob spawners or anything like that below here, again, I, I'm not sure there is one, but, you know, if you believe in yourself, uh, it won't actually spawn mobs. So that's just a cool little fact about this even more. So, yeah, this is just a cool thing found in the corner of the map uh, that I think is also pretty great. Uh, if we head to, uh, you know, in my opinion at least, uh, if we head to the other side of the map, which I haven't really shown off so much, it's not quite as, you know, interesting and varied as the stuff we've shown so far, but it might be your sort of thing because it does contain a few plain spimes, which are weirdly shaped, like, you know, this one, which is, it's not quite a rectangle, but it's almost a perfect rectangle between, you know, two other very different biomes. Um, if that's not your thing in particular, then there's also the fact that just on the far uh, east of the map, we've got the spruce biome on the hill here. Again, there's, there's just some bizarre stuff that, like, isn't my thing, you know, th this island here, like, what's going on? It's not my thing, but it might be your thing. Maybe you look at this, you're like, oh, that is the perfect mountain. Like, look, that one looks like it has a face in it. I, I'm going to do something with that. I can't say for certain, but that is all of the seed uh, shown off right there. So yeah, the north of the seed has my favorite stuff because there's literally a floating chest. The west of the seed has a mushroom biome, and the spawn isn't so bad either. This is uh, the first seed Sunday using just random seeds, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good so far, um, and I'm looking forward to next week because maybe we can one-up it even more. And if also, if you want to help out on that seed thing, if you want to look for seed Sunday seeds, all you have to do is go into a random world, look around it, see if there's cool stuff, and let me know what random cool stuff you see. I know, like, you know, most people are like, oh, take out. I found a mushroom biome, that's rare. But like, you know, I, I love to see like these amazing rare finds that can be found because the seed generator on console seems to get better and better and better and just only find very good seeds, which means if you find the best of the good seeds, then you get seeds like this one, which are pretty great to check out in my opinion. But with that said, I hope you did all enjoy this week's Seed Sunday. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.